Hey guys, my name is Hannah and I would say let's have some fun today! I bought me something again, <laughs> this beauty right here. Pat McGrath had a really nice sale on her website like every year I have the feeling she's doing now and I'm so excited about that. And I picked me up the palette I wanted for a long time and it's the Mothership number one guys. Really wanted this one for such a long time but I always bought me somehow the other palettes before I bought me this one. They are. It was always such a time where other palettes it spoke a little bit more to me but then finally I came around this one and this was the last one I really 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 wanted wholeheartedly so much from Pat McGrath. The other one I want as well but this was really one that I wanted in my life for such a long time and I want to do a video today with this beauty right here with you together. Before that you I think you can see I have nothing on my face right now because I have some other new stuff that I bought for me as well and I want to do a whole face with you together with all the new stuff I bought for myself. Some are a little bit newer to the market as well and others are a little bit older to the market but really new for me and I use them occasionally off camera so I can tell you a little bit more what dealings I have towards certain products that I'm using today and then finally we will come to the main star of this show and I'm so excited about that. This one I didn't use until today with you together and yeah <laughs> I'm so excited so let's get right into the video. So again I zoomed you in a little bit more. Let's clip the hair really quickly back so it's not in the way when I'm doing my face. So I will start with foundation and I have a new foundation that I already used for other videos but I never used it directly in front of the camera. So it's the Il Maquillage foundation and I have the color 020 woke up like this. I got it as a present from my sister. I'm not sure how to feel yet about it to be honest but I like sometimes how it's looking but sometimes it's a little bit caking up on myself. So I have the feeling in humid places so if it's really really hot outside it's looking a little bit better than when it's cold outside because I have the feeling when you are sweating a little bit and your natural oils are coming through. This foundation is looking a little bit better than the other way around if you know what I mean. This is at least what I experienced but to mix this one with other stuff in my collection say with other foundations or with a really nice beautiful glowy base then this is shining as well really really nice so I'm I'm not mad about this foundation and I really like it somehow and yeah let's use it now today on camera together we'll do two pumps it's a little bit of a darker foundation for me but I can make it work it's it's workable let's say it like that and I will just do a little bit everywhere the smell of this foundation is really strong at first I had the feeling I have a bad one, but it's not like that. I saw some videos of this foundation by now and many people are saying that it's smelling a little bit like color or like a little bit more chemical, you know, and it's exactly that. It's smelling like a mix of a wall color and something a little bit chemical and also something like a cream. It's all around. So if you don't like stronger smells, I wouldn't recommend this foundation. So now I will blend it out with my brush. But I have to say it's blending out like a dream and also if you are working it in nicely it's looking really nice on the skin. You get a little bit of coverage with this foundation for sure and you can build it up but I would say you shouldn't build it up too much because then it's getting too cakey. So it's not a foundation that you can build up and build up and build up and build up till the end because I have the feeling that it's not that good looking anymore. I think less is a little bit more with this one right here. But all in all, I have to say I really like the finish of it. So for concealer, I have nothing new, so I will use my old and so much loved product and I will use my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in L2. Really, really love this stuff, guys. And I'm not using much. I really just do always a little dot right here, a little dot back here and call it a day and for me personally this is more than enough 
this concealer is really beautiful you can build it up so beautifully you can make it really full coverage but you also can make it a little bit more lighter if you are using just a little dot right here and there so really love the versatility of this one and i will blend it out with my sponge it's also a really really nice shade match i would say i could also go with l1 with the lightest one if i want it a little bit more brighter under the eye area but for a really natural look, I think this is the perfect shade for me. Also, after I have blended it out on the first side, I always go a little bit around the face area to blend it everywhere in a little bit. So for my powder, it's also nothing new, but I didn't use this one for a really long time. And maybe I will take it with me when I'm on vacation. And it's my Bare Mineral Veil Powder. And I have... It's saying just the original powder, so I guess it's that. It's the original Bare Mineral Veil Powder. And I have a really small sized version of it, so perfect for traveling. And I will just go in here. It's a little bit more of a rosy kind of powder. And I will powder with this one all over my T-zone. I don't know why I didn't use it for a long time now. Because blurring my face really, really nicely, I have to say. It's looking really fresh right now. Not too matte, but also not too glowy. Especially for warm days like today. It's perfect because you will sweat anyways and you'll will look glowy in the end so I think this is a really nice combo right now. So now to a real new product in my collection. It's also a little bit newer to the market and it's the Pat McGrath Labs bronzer that she brought out and I have the color... I have the lightest one but I don't know where the name is. There's no name. Ah, I have Naked Desire and I have to be honest guys I think this is a little bit too light for me. <laughs> I wished I had go with the little bit more darker shade, the shade after that, the second lightest shade. And I, yeah, wished I did go with this one, but this is also not bad. It's a really, really natural type of bronzer, you could say, for me. For me. But if you are really, really pale, I'm really pale, but for me, it's a little, a little, little, little bit too light, I have to say. But if you are paler than me, I think this is so stunning for really, really, really pale skin. And yeah. But next time, if I purchase this one again, I would go with a darker shade. The one shade after that. So the second lightest shade. <laughs> but yeah, really like it for those natural type of bronzer days. And I'm not mad about it. Not at all. You can see definitely on my skin. So let's use this right now. And I will go in with a more angled brush in here. The embossment, guys, is always really, really stunning and beautiful looking so nice you can definitely see it on my on my brush so it's not that it's too too light but for my taste i like it a little bit more darker but it's okay like i said it's for those really natural nice days and i feel really really confident and comfortable with this one look how seamlessly it's sinking into my skin i really really like this bronzer but i like to have a little bit more of control you know if it's a little bit more darker I could go a little bit lighter in it if I want those lighter days and if I want it a little bit more stronger I just go in normally like I always would and get a little bit more of an bronzy, even bronzier effect. But you can see it's really really nice. This is the side where I have the bronzer on and this is the side where I have nothing on right now. So I think you can see how beautifully it's melting into the skin and it's making everything much more seamless and nice looking so really i think it's in the end the perfect shade for me like i said so i'm not mad about this one as well it will get so much use out of me guys really 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 love this one i was so in need for a new bronzer because my charlotte tilbury one on one side it's completely hard panning so i can't use this anymore i tried everything but it's always getting back to the hard pan and the other side that's not hard panning it's almost gone so really wanted to try a new one and why not Pat McGrath she's never disappointing me so it's no different this time not a little bit disappointed it's seamlessly it's beautiful and it's making everything so much fresher and nicer looking so next one we came to a new blush and highlighter that I bought for myself it's a palette 
and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette and I have the Fair Medium one. It's really beautiful. Look at this packaging guys. I have to say I used it now a little bit more often and I really like it. Look at the inside. It's so stunning and beautiful looking. I know it's Charlotte Tilbury, you know. I know that her brand is all about the natural beauty, the really seamless looking beauty. And I'm all about it, no doubt. But you know, when it comes to blushes, I like a really blushy kind of look. So I wish those were a little bit more pigmented. But my solution for that is to use a little bit of a stiffer and bigger brush so that I can pick as much color up as I want and really build the color up on my cheeks so that I can get the opacity that I personally like. So I would say let's start because I want to showcase everything to you. Let's start with this color right here and then we will get to this one and yeah, after that we go to the highlighter portion. So let's start with the lightest one and it's calling soft blush. So let's go in here. You see with the stiffer brush I can really pack the color on. And with this one I will go to the more to the back area of my cheeks. So right here. And I will put it on. Don't get me wrong, it's looking really nice and beautiful. But even with this kind of a stiff brush, I don't get that much payoff. So it's really more, again, neutral kind of blush. But I am I like it anyways, guys. I think it's so beautiful and stunning looking. And I'm not mad about it. And because I find out my way to use the blush the best for me, I really like how it's how it's looking overall. And now let's go right to the cheeks. And for the for the cheeks, I will go into this really beautiful pinkish rosy shade right here. And again with the same brush, right into it. Look how stunning. This is a little bit more opaque. I really love this shade. And I will go right on the cheeks. This is more the kind of opaqueness that I love. But you see, with a stiffer brush, you can really pimp it up a little bit more if you want. But you can also go really soft and natural and beautiful with it. Oh, <laughs> love it. So stunning. It's looking really seamless on the skin. Really, really like it. Also, with the same shade, I go a little bit on the tip of my nose. And also a little bit on the bridge of my nose, swirling it basically a little bit around. A little bit right here, on my cupid bow, and down here. Just to connect everything together. But we aren't done yet, of course, with a highlighter brush. I will go first into this really light highlighter shade right here, this whitish one. And go basically everywhere where you would, would put normally on a highlighter so on the high points of my face area also on the bridge and on the tip of my nose and now with this rosy shade here I will use this one more like a toppery shade you could say and go really over the blush area so a little bit further than I did with the normal highlighter shade also a little bit here just to give me an all-over glow, also here a little bit, like that, just a little bit everywhere, basically. And although I used so many highlighting stuff on my face, it's looking beautiful and natural anyways, and it's a beautiful and nice glow, I think you can tell. So stunning, I really love this palette, and even though it's not quite my type of blush, if you know what I mean, I really love the opaque one, but you see, I build it up so beautifully and I love it. Charlotte Tilbury did it again. Really impressed by it and I love how my cheeks are looking right now and how my face overall is looking right now. So my brows I will glue up like always. Nothing new, just with hair gel I will glue them up a little bit. Nothing to rhyme home about so can't bother with my eyebrows and I really love this natural look anyway. So and now to the best part of the whole video but I have to be honest all the rest of my face was so much fun with my new stuff that I have. I think it's beautiful complexion stuff and I'm 
really amazed right now how my complexion is looking and how natural and nice it's looking right now. Now let's come to the eyes and I will prime like always with my NYX eye primer. So nothing new here. And now let's come to this beauty right here. Untouched and stunning. It's looking so beautiful. Really excited. And I will go with this Differ blending brush into the first shade. And I think I will start with this a little bit more darker grayish brownish shade right here. And start to focus this one at the outer portion of my lid area. Oh guys, you don't know how, how long I wanted the Mothership one. First shade is blending beautifully. Now I will go in with a more fluffier blending brush into this really light brown shade right here. It's a little bit more like a taupey kind of shade. And I will blend the color a little bit better out. It's a nice blending shade, I have to say. With the same brush as before, but the other side of it, it's a little bit of a more smaller packing brush, I will go into this taupey metallic shade right here. I think it's looking so beautiful. So let's go right into it. Oh yeah, it's a really stunning color. And I will go at the front portion of my lid area with this one. And I will leave a little bit in the middle portion out. Like a halo almost, you could say. I, I expect nothing less with Pat McGrath shade, guys. I'm, I'm loving them so, so much. So now I will go with my finger into this blue, beautiful, stunning, vibrant shade right here. Feeling so nice. Oh, it's a really vibrant, beautiful kind of blue. And I will focus this one at the outer portion of my lid area as well. Oh, that wasn't my plan. Okay, we are good now. And I will go in the outer corner. So let's do this just a little bit with light dabbing motions. And in the middle portion, I will go into this gold right here as well with my finger again. Oh, this one is looking also really beautiful. It's a really wearable kind of gold. And I will go into the middle portion with this one. Stunning. Oh, beautiful. Pat McGrath is always so much fun, but at the same time so sophisticated looking. That's because I really love her eyeshadow palette so much. And now for the blue one, again with my finger. I think the special shades are working always the best in my opinion with the finger. So I really like to use my finger for those shades. And I want to use today all the special shades in here, of course. I think you know me. And I will go into this shifty blue to rosy kind of shade it's looking so stunning guys let's use it as well on the finger oh yeah those are her old special formulations that we all know and love look at this beauty really stunning and with this one i will go over the blue shade to elevate the blue a little bit more oh yeah <laughs> it's elevated the blue for sure really stunning let's do the other side as well and now I will go into this whitish shade with a really beautiful blue flip to it as well with my finger, of course. Also really beautiful looking. And with this one I will go to the front portion where I laid down this beautifully looking taupey shade. As well to elevate the taupey shade a little bit more. And because I have the feeling that the gold is a little bit lost, I will go again into the gold and elevate it a little bit more in the middle portion. Now I will go again with the packing brush into the black shade right here this time. And I will focus it really near my lash line area of my upper lid area at the outer portion. Really lightly going in there with the black. And now again with the other side of the brush, 
the more blending side, I will go into the Skin Show shade right here and put it on my brow bow area just to blend everything out underneath. I like her Skin Show shades. I think they are really helpful to round up every look really beautifully. So now on to my lower lash line and I will go into the black shade again with the packing brush and go really, really lightly onto my outer corner of the lower lash line and just really, really lightly put it down and really near my lower lash line as well. Just to build a little bit of depth and a connection to my upper lid area. And now with a smaller blending brush, I will go again into this a little bit more darker kind of taupey brownish shade right here and put it over the black shade and blend it a little bit out with this one, just really lightly. So that the line is not looking that harsh anymore. And with the inner corner brush, I think I will finish the lower lash line with this really beautiful taupey shade right here to finish the lower lash line because I want to keep it a little bit more simple down here. And with the same inner corner brush, I will go into this really beautiful whitish shade with a blue flip, a special shade as well. And this one I will focus right into my inner corner to round the look beautifully up. Going a little bit to my lower lash line with it, just at the front portion, but really, really lightly. And also dragging the shade a little bit upwards. So guys, I think this is all I want to do. I really like how it's turned out. I think it's looking beautiful. And for my lashes, I will use something I have for a while now, but I didn't use it on camera yet. And it's the other fun Pat McGrath mascara that I have. I have the aquamarine one and I have this beautiful pinkish shade right here. It's the pink mystique one and I will use this one again just on my lower lash line because I want to keep it a little bit more don't want that, that the look is getting too funky but I think on my lower lash line it will look really nice with the look so let's do this really just a little bit down here And I think the contrast of the bluish, little bit more cooler shades and the rosy shade is really stunning and nice. And you are getting a really beautiful effect. And for my upper lashes, I, would, I will use my Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eye Mascara in black. This is not new, but I think it's pairing. it will pair really nice with the look overall. So on this I will focus on the upper portion of my lash area. Like that. They are always so thick and beautiful looking with this mascara right here. I really learned to love it so much and I think it's elevating the look so much more and so beautifully. It's a nice pairing I have to say. So now let's move on to the lips. And for my lips I also don't really have something new but I think I will go with a Pat McGrath Metrans lipstick and I will use the color Dream Lover. It's a really nice peachy neutral kind of shade and I think it will pair nice with the look overall and it's not too much so it's balancing everything out a little bit better if you know so let's just dab it a little bit lighter on the lips and with my finger I will blend it a little bit out. So guys and here's the finished look what do you think I Really, really love it. I'm really digging it right now. I think it's looking so beautiful. So let's showcase the look a little bit better to you. And then we will be right back with the zoomed out version. <laughs> So guys, and here's the look all zoomed out. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really love my complexion right now. I really love my eyes right now. Nothing that I didn't expect with Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I really enjoy this palette. I'm so happy that I have it in my collection now as well. I wanted this one, like I said, for such a long time. And I'm amazed with the overall 
quality of those shades. Yeah guys and if you enjoyed this video as well I would be really happy if you give me a thumbs up that I know that you like this kind of content. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the little bell to get notifications here and there when I'm posting something new. And with that being said guys I hope we will see each other in my next video and until then bye.